Oh, that's a big one. Stay on, buddy. Stay on. Oh, yeah. Stay on. Oh, stay on. Oh, my God. Look at that. Howdy there, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Toothless TV with your host, as always, Toothless Ty. And boy, let me tell y'all, does it feel good to be back on the water with you? It's been a hectic couple months moving back from Florida, getting married, and then coming up here to Arkansas getting a house, the whole nine yards, furniture on back order, all that fun stuff. But today we're not here to talk about all that. Today we are here to review Guggen Squad's uh, reaction style rod and the Guggen Squad reaction box. So what this box is, is a set of baits that Guggen Squad has figured out that works perfectly with their reaction style rod. Baits that are going to come in here are more like crank baits, shallow, deep, square bills, all that sort of stuff. Um, I think they even got some lipless in here as well. Uh, weatherman told me winds were only going to be 8 to 10. I come out here, we're white capping at 15 miles an hour. Drone can barely fly in the air. But you know what? This is going to be perfect for us. I'm going to go find a bank that's covered by the wind. We're just going to beat it all day long with this reaction rod. And we're going to try all the baits out in here. We're going to try to get a slam. And if we can't, who cares? I'm going to review this and y'all are going to find out. Because I do have the whole line of Guggen Squad rods. And we're going to see just how this reaction bait uh, tackle box is going to go with their rod and today we ain't holding back nothing we are going to put every fish we catch that's of legal size in the in the uh, live well we're going to weigh them we're going to see if we can catch us at least a limit today y'all stay tuned for more y'all if you enjoy this content please comment like and subscribe it's really going to help me out at the end of the year my goal is to get 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year so Old Toothless Tide can start getting paid for this, all right? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Alrighty, guys. So let's go ahead and open up this Guggen Squad reaction style box and see what's inside. This is what the back of the box looks like right here. Gives you a little idea of what sort of baits are in here. And this is specifically for the reaction style rod. Alrighty, let's get this sucker open here, okay? This is my first time opening this box. I've had them... For a long time, I've just been push, pushing this video off. Let's see. Get her open here. There we go. Oh, don't you love that? Box in a box. Forgot my pocket knife today. It's all right. Scissors will work just fine. Now look at that. Open it up real nice. Get you a little little reaction uh, thing here kind of gives you an idea of what all these baits are gives you an idea on their catch smart system with all their different rods basically just simple for people who don't really know what sort of rod they need and just have a good idea for you know they'll they'll figure it out for you so first up what we got here we got a Coogan Squad Recon I actually have this same bait in the same color it's gonna be a deep diver probably won't get to that today I actually have the same one too a little flat banger uh, this is their square bill style right here. It's very nice. Ooh, look at this. This is going to be good today. I had this. I think I lost it. This is their regular banger. Uh, this is a regular square bill, not a flat sided. This probably goes two to three feet, two to five feet. Not too bad. This is going to be a good color today. Springtime. This is their clutch. This is going to be your lipless right here. Very nice. This here is their Grande Banger. I'm definitely going to be throwing this out there. I saw some shad busting today. Look at this sucker. I mean, that right there is going to be a fish catching machine today. Three to seven feet. Perfect for exactly what we're going to be casting. This is going to be what we're going for today. Let's hope those bass are looking for a big bite uh, because those shad are out there right now. And then last but not least in here, we got the Grande Recon. This is the big boy. The big boy thick meaty girl diving real deep in a beautiful shad pattern this sucker right here goes 15 to 20 feet deep maybe i got some offshore brush maybe we'll give this a shot see if we can do anything with it all right guys what we got in that box we got one two three four five 
six baits. These are all hard style baits. We're not messing with any plastic today. Unless, of course, we can't get bit, then we'll go a little finesse. But that's besides the point. Today's challenge is we're gonna try to get something on this box right here and test out the reaction style rod and just see how good it is at keeping these fish on. I'm not even gonna worry about netting them unless we start losing them. This reaction style rod should be able to have that parabolic bend and be able to keep that fish hooked with these treble hooks in. This is, that's the whole point of this rod is to be able to have that treble hook stuck in that fish when you're pulling him to the boat. All right, we're gonna boat flip everyone and see what we can do. All right, so quick update. My options are super limited on where I feel comfortable fishing in this boat because the wind is so bad right now. We got 15 mile an hour, I just looked at my phone, 15 mile an hour with 20 to 22 mile an hour gust. When I got out here, it was 10 mile an hour winds max. Seven to 10 is what they said. And uh, I don't know how the hell they got this so wrong, but man, is it rough. I mean, white capping, I was getting all wet, had to put my windbreaker on, my jeans are soaked. But um, I found this little, little pocket. I've never fished in here before, take a look. And it's pretty, pretty calm over here. So uh, hopefully we'll get something. It's gonna beat the bank like we were doing before. All right. You can actually see where the wind is coming in and where we're protected. So, uh, well, hopefully right now, we'll get something in these protected areas. I mean, chances are these fish are more in the wind than out, setting up on the outsides. Maybe I'll throw a little bit right here, but I just can in this boat, man. It's just aluminum, no spot lock, nothing like that. It is tough. Look at that. Bluer just got caught right in there. Yeah, it's definitely a tough one out here, but. Let's see if I can get him on the shaky head. Not a bad little start to our day. Alrighty guys, so I wasn't able to get it on the uh, on the crankbait, but I saw him come up to the crankbait. So I went ahead and threw out my shaky head, and uh, there he is, little little one pounder. Uh, not too bad, we're gonna throw him in the live well and see if we can go get some more. 
All right, y'all, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch out this bait. I think because I saw that bass come up and he was chasing it, but he didn't commit. It's because it was too big of a bait. So I think we're gonna throw on, let's see. We're gonna go with this little red square bill right here. Uh, or maybe the flat banger. Nah, we'll go with the red square bill. We'll see if that can do something for us. All right, let's get this little guy tied on. Oh, that's a big one. Stay on, buddy. Stay on. Oh, yeah. Stay on. <sighs> Stay on. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Oh, my God. Okay, stay on. Stay on. <sighs> I tried to do this without hooking myself. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, baby. Wow, look at that. All righty, let's get this bad boy in there. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh man, he came off. Little tiny guy. There he goes, got him. Keep that bend, keep that bend, keep that bend. Oh my God, he's got one hook. All right, here we go. Yeah. Alrighty guys, got us another little dink here, but uh, too small for, for the live well to keep. There must be a honey hole down there. I'm on a school. He's all right, he'll keep. Keep the bend, keep the bend, keep the bend. All right. A little bit bigger, they'll keep. Alrighty y'all, we are on it. We have found something special here. There we go, got him. He was too small anyway. 
y'all. So we actually did pretty darn good. I got the mic in my hand because the wind, even in this back little pocket, is uh, just uh, just a howling, howling wind. Well, let me open up the uh, live well and show y'all just how we did on that little uh, little stretch of bank. Let me show you. Check her out. Get all them fish. We got one, two, three, four. We're one away from a limit. All right. Guys, let's go back out, get us one more fish so we can get this, this uh, Beaver Lake limit. Don't happen very often for old Toothless Ty. So let's get her done today. Got him, got him, got him, big and bigger. Maybe not. Yeah, yeah, he's not bad. He'll keep. All right, I got one hook on him. Nope. All right, we're gonna go. Gonna go around here on the boot flip. Look at that! Not bad! Alrighty guys, we got our fifth keeper of the day. Very tidy, but he measures. Alrighty y'all, welcome back. I was gonna do this at the ramp, but then I thought, you know what, it might be a little too windy. People might be around, you know, blah, 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 the whole nine yards. So I was like, you know what, we'll just release them right around where we caught them. Power pulled down, found a spot without a lot of wind, and uh, I already measured them all, so we're good there. But uh, now we're gonna weigh them and see exactly how big our bag is. All right, she is zeroed. Let's get the first one out, baby. Let me get the smallest guy first. Finally get to use my coal tags. <laughs> This might be our smallest. Let's see. All right, so we got 0.7 for our first guy. So not too awful big, but trust me, they get bigger. Time for number two. Let's get number two on there, y'all. All right, we're getting up to a pound. We're at 0.9. <laughs> All right, they do get bigger. All right, third one, here we go. Guys, we have done it. We broke a pound. 1.08 is where we're at. Look at that. Now we're starting to get good. Next guy. Let's see where you're at, buddy. One pound, five ounces, or 0 .05, I'm sorry. Thank you for playing, my friend. Now for the big mama. Look at this girl right here. Mm, mm. <laughs> look at that. Oh yeah, y'all. That is a good, good, healthy, Look at that, that is a healthy fish. I mean, they just look so much bigger. 2.09, but you know what? That's the biggest one we got by a whole pound. Look at that, behemoth. <laughs> Godzilla. Alrighty, we're gonna get a nice release on her now. Alrighty, girl, back in the depths she go. Alrighty guys, that gives us a total weight of 5.84. I don't know if you can see that. 5.84, which uh, in Florida, that's like one decent fish. So you know what, for Arkansas, uh, maybe not the best. Uh, Beaver Lake is notorious for some smaller fish. Um, 
but you know what i'm happy with it it was a hard day of fishing out here in the wind and uh you know i just really wanted to try out that guggen squad um uh reaction bait rod and the reaction kit and all but one of our fish were caught off of that rod uh, only one was caught on the on the spinning reel um off a shaky head and that was Guggen squad finesse rod as well i don't have one of those boxes but i may get one in the future uh but man i mean just changing that bait up instantly did it they're just liking red this time of year something a little smaller uh and we were fishing shallow so it ain't gonna be long before them bass are up and bedding and we will get some big ones doing some sight fishing y'all